Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome to Cross Church. My name is John, and we're so glad that you could spend a part of your weekend with us. We're going to begin today's gathering in just a minute with a time of worship, and then hear a message from our lead pastor that will encourage you and help you grow in your walk with God. Altogether, our gathering will be just over an hour, but before we move on, we would like to take just a moment to tell you about some of the things happening around here. lids come off those boxes, you have never seen such pure joy. This is amazing as you can see the children's faces, they are excited as they open up the gifts for the first time. What makes the gifts more than just gifts is the message that comes with the gift. This is the opportunity for a child to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. The mission of Operation Christmas Child never changes. Children are coming to Jesus, and children are taking the gospel to the ends of the earth. Millions of children around the world are being impacted by these simple shoebox gifts. One box can touch not just the child, but the whole family. So we need to keep packing those boxes and pray for the children that God will use this in a very special way. So thank you for being a part of it. God bless you. Today we're kicking off our annual Operation Christmas Child campaign. The mission of Operation Christmas Child is to demonstrate God's love through a simple shoebox filled with gifts and given to children in need all over the world. It all started back in 1993 when Samaritan's Purse sent 28,000 shoeboxes to children in the Balkans that Christmas. Since then, more than 188 million children in more than 170 countries have received a shoebox along with the message of hope found in Jesus Christ. Every time shoeboxes are handed out, it's done through the local church. The gospel message is always shared by some of the thousands of local church volunteers all around the world. Along with the shoebox, each child receives a booklet in their own language with the good news of Jesus. You can pick up a box in the atrium today after church or donate $40 through the Giving Center with your envelope marked shoebox and we'll pack one up for you. Shoeboxes are due back on Sunday, November 6th. We will be hosting a special time of prayer for the persecuted church on November 1st at 6 p.m. over Zoom. Praying for the persecuted church is something that is very special to our church, and we would like to invite you to join us as we pray. If you feel nervous about praying in front of others, this is a non-pressure prayer meeting where you can agree along with others without praying aloud if you choose. We have created a special prayer guide that we're going to be sharing to our email list. We'd love to see everyone who calls Cross Church home at this prayer meeting, so be sure to mark your calendars and we'll see you there. The men's ministry is having a bonfire night on Tuesday, October 27th at Kildonan Park. This is a free event for all men of Cross Church, so be sure to bring a lawn chair and a friend to enjoy this great night of fellowship. Well, those are all the announcements that I have for you today. Just a reminder, if you want any more information for anything you've heard today, speak to a staff member in the atrium after our gathering or you can always visit us online at crosschurch.life. And hey, if you're in the room with us today right now, why don't you stand up, wave at your neighbor, and get ready for a time of worship. We hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we'll see you all next week. Bye. <laughs>